Thousands of supporters of the Bolivarian Revolution marched through central Caracas to condemn the United States policies that are used to wage war and gain control of the country's economy. We are anti-imperialists. We do not want to do anything with the empire. They do not own the world. They do not care about the people. The only thing that matters to them is the stealing from everyone, to take away everyone else's resources, because they are thieves. The different organizations and political parties sent a message in defense of the nation. In response to recent unilateral measures by the U.S. Treasury Department, that hit four government financial institutions and two others with headquarters in Bolivia and Uruguay. Just because we have independence and sovereignty, the imperialists have chosen to sanction us. But what we say to them, to U.S. imperialism, is that those sanctions that you attack us with, they give us strength, they build our resilience. We will overcome all these obstacles. Chavistas also condemned some of the statements made by the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, who failed to take into account past opposition violence which has taken place over the years. They want to turn off our lights, just like as they did a few days ago, but they will not achieve it. They achieved the opposite. They ignited something inside Venezuelans. They turn our humility. They turn on our humility, they turn on our friendship, and they turn on our union. Now we are more united than ever to defend our country, more united to defend our president. Under these ideals, the people once again took to the streets to show resistance and resilience in the face of imperialist attacks. According to recent polls, 92% of the Venezuelan population opposes imperialist aggressions and 80% specifically reject economic sanctions imposed by the United States against their nation. Edson Sanchez, Telesur.